Okay, so before I begin, I am going to give you a few tips on how to redeem a rain check or how to get a rain check. In this video, I am going to jump topics and so on. And I will also at the end give you a little sneak peek of two ads in advance and what rain check should you get from this ad to use in the two weeks ahead of coming up. Okay, so to start off with, the rain check that I got today, it's for any L'Oreal Cosmetics, excludes any clearance items. I got it for one because the limit is one, so you spend 12 and you get back a $4 ECB, extra care bucks. They wrote the event number and then the, re the cashier register signature. Okay, so after they wrote that information, they also staple the little ad that comes with it. Just because it will help me in the future or help any other person um, that didn't issue my rain check understand the rain check better. Now I'm gonna rip it off so you could see specifically if you have never gotten a rain check before what does it state behind it. Give me one second. Okay so I'm gonna just slowly Make sure you're able to read the the rain check. Give me one second. So I'm not quite sure. If you were able to read it, but if you weren't, I'm going to read it for you. It says, sorry, we're out of stock. Please keep the string check and present it when more merchandise arrive. This, uh, the item will be yours at the sales price. It says, redeem at any CVS location, cashier instructions, price modify the item to the sale price listed on the ring check and tender the transaction, and then insert this ring check into the register media slot. If there is an extra care, extra buck information detail on the rain check, price modify the item to the sales price listed on the rain check and tender the transaction. In a separate transaction, provide a store issue extra buck for the amount specific. Utilizing the event code when complete, insert this rain check into the register media slot. It says this rain check does not expire, meaning that you can use the rain check during the sale or whatever the case might be. Um, so there shouldn't be any problems for you to not be able to double dip as a lot of you have uh, been concerned about. Like Island Coupon Girl said recently that the four of 20s aren't here and who knows at what time they're gonna come back. For instance me, I stopped using four of 20s since they came off eBay. And since then I've been able to do my transactions fine and pay nothing out of pocket again remember couponing is not about getting free stuff well it is but technically if you're couponing for your stuff that you need you don't coupon to get it always free but to get it cheap real real cheap compared to other people or compared to retail price so that's my goal that's the way i do things and in the end i'm gonna show you my tower of scott I have about maybe 19 package or so and I was able to get that for 30 bucks so I think $100 50 worth of stuff for $30 it's free for me uh, especially that you know it's it's a good deal and something that we use every single day now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the I guess ring check alert and I had I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to two weeks in advance like I mentioned before. Alrighty, so this week of um, March 17th through the 23rd, there's a deal going on. Spend 30 and get 10, limit of five. And it includes these products that you see here. Now, on the week of March 24th through the 30th, it will be the same thing, but a limit of one. So I would recommend you to instead of spending 30, you're actually going to spend 10 after ECBs. 
Um, so instead of getting one $10 ECB, you're going to get two. So 20 in total. Also, don't forget to get a rain check for this particular um, cell. It's spent 30, get 10, a limit of 5. So let me zoom in a little so you can read it better. And then the ID number. So you could pick the Scott 6 packs paper towel, Scott bathroom paper from 12 to 18 packs for $7.49. Or the Continental for eight. Now the week of April seventh through the thirteenth, there'll be a sale going on. Get ten, get back thirty, and it's only limit of one. But at least you're able to use your rain check, and they could always rewrite or just, uh, just put like a little line across the five and just put four, or whatever works for them. Um, you the Scott's actually gonna be a. Uh, a little bit more expensive for seventy seventy seven. That's why I say you should get a rain check for the price of seven forty nine, and then the Scott, the Continental, and then other stuff that are included. Uh, so, for example, the Huggies, you could actually do the transaction that time again, since it's gonna be nine forty nine. So for this week, you should get this rain check for buy one, crest. 3D white strip and get back a $10 ECB. Now this is a limit of two because for the same week of April 7th of uh, through the 13th, it's going to be the same promotion. So instead of spending $30, $40, you're only really spending 20 now for this L'Oreal product in particular is the 1999 one. Um, it's actually going to be right here. The Miracle Blur, which I super love and I will be doing a review on it. And I might do a little giveaway, so just stay tuned and remember to subscribe. But I'm, you should get a rain check for this, especially for this. Uh, it's spent 30, get 10, a limit of 1 per household with card. And then that same week, it's gonna, of the April 7th through 13th, it's gonna be on sale again for $19.99 with a limit of uh, $10 ECB. I'm not, I can't read the limit, I think it's one as well. So instead of paying full price for both, instead of paying almost forty dollars, you're gonna get one and you're gonna buy one and get one free. So you pay twenty dollars for both, and you're gonna get back twenty dollars ECB. So um, L'Oreal's having a deal: spend twelve and get back four. And then that week of April seventh is gonna be the same thing. Where is it? Right here. Spend twelve, get back four. And they do have a new foundation, so I will be reviewing that. And maybe after, you're going to want to go get it. So make sure you get a ring check this week for that product. So this week is spend 10, get 4 back, limit 6 on any Revlon cosmetic. Now last week, it was spend 10 on any face uh, Revlon cosmetic. So... Um, I was able to double dip on that, so instead of just getting back four, I got eight, which is a really good deal. But you could do this deal again. You could just get a rain check for this. On the spend 10, get four back. And use it on the 31st through the 6th and do the same deal. But instead of spending 10, you're going to be spending 15 and getting back seven. So you could just add a few maybe a sharpener or nail clipper or whatever they have for really cheap under three dollars and then just add into your transaction and instead of just getting the four you're going to be getting a seven as well i think a 66 dollars ecb sounds pretty awesome especially remember that all this makeup stuff counts towards the beauty um bucks so definitely you would get such a good amount already um in there uh, I do want to let you know that you could also use a percentage off coupon on anything that's not on sale if it's given an ECB it's fine as long as it's not a sales price like let's say for example this um, body wash it says sell then no you cannot use it towards the 20% something off. I'm sure you would love is this spend 20 get back 10 limit of 1 and it's on any Glade item. Now, this Glade item could range from $1.99 to $3 at your store, depending on what area. Um, my area tends to be a little bit more expensive. 
then if I go maybe two miles down it's actually well not two miles down to the next city um, is actually cheaper a dollar or two less so just get a recheck for this because you'll be using it on this transaction I'm sorry on this ad date and this is the ad of 7 13 and you see the spray right here it's gonna be on sale for a dollar so you're gonna buy twenty dollars worth and get back ten so I think it's pretty good it's like if I don't get one free on each uh, glade can that you have as well these are going to be three dollars on the sprays or candles so you could just take advantage of that as well so pretty much this is all um i hope i gave you some tips and ideas on how to work with your transactions and how to minimize your out of pocket as well i hope you enjoy this section of the rain check alert and if you did enjoy if you thought it was very informative then just leave a comment below